Hi, I'm Nash Lin, and thank you for watching iLearnToAnimate.com. Okay, right now, we have created a very simple animation, but this looks like a very, very floaty ball bouncing. There's no realism. Like I said earlier on with my blog, if you need to have a realistic animation, you must learn to create create your animation using a tool which is the software over here which you have done so but you will also need to apply the principle of animation which is the knowledge of how an object will look realistic in our earth environment so let me just explain that a little bit right now we have a ball and we're going to drop it down to the floor and it is being pulled down by gravity so how does gravity affect the ball let me show you step by step initially it will start to slowly goes down and as time goes it will goes down further and further away like this but you can see that the distance between the initial frame, the first frame, it is about this distance. Second frame is actually a little bit longer and slightly getting longer. Now, why is this happening? Because gravity, it is equals to acceleration. And why is acceleration? which it means that the speed will increase faster and faster, just like a car. Starts off with 10 km per hour, followed by 20 km per hour until it reaches 90 km per hour and probably that is the consistent, constant speed. Okay, This is the same when the gravity pulls the ball down, it will slowly increase the speed and that is why you can see that the distance gets further and further away within a sh within the same time or the same frame given until it reaches the floor okay so acceleration means that within the same timing in this case the one frame the distance moved by the ball is increased all right so what is principle of animation applied over here? It is the slow in and slow out. Okay, when your ball moves from a speed from slow to fast speed, it is slow in. Okay, and when the ball hits onto the floor and bounces back up again. It's going to be fast because at this speed it is the fastest within this um, time frame it's going to be going out very fast but as it reaches to the tip to the to the maximum height again there is again gravity pulling it downwards so from here the speed will be very fast up to the maximum peak over here will start to slow down and reaches zero and that is slow out the speed will change from fast to slow speed this is slowing and slow out so we're going to try to apply this principle of animation in our Maya animation in our 3d animation okay to do so we will need to use graph editor okay in order to to open up graph editor, we can go to the menu, click on windows, animation editor, and graph editor to bring up the graph editor window. Currently, this is the graph that we have for our bouncing ball. To resize this window, string it using this. And we can use our command middle mouse to pan it nearer and use the middle mouse scroll to put it in. 
and I prefer to make sure I can see the graph editor and my ball at the same time so when I move my mouse over at the viewport I hold down command and middle mouse to make sure that I can see my ball and of course I need to see my timeline so that I can control okay so right now we're going to try to manipulate this graph that we have created okay and let me just try to string this size a little bit more because we don't need this if you are familiar with illustrator when you actually select using a left mouse click and drag a marquee you should be able to see there's this handle this pink color thing is called handle and what does this handle do it means that you can actually edit them okay however currently these are all so-called locked well you can move in this manner okay but um, you can't really manipulate well um, if you want to break this corner over here so what you got to do is um, just bring open up my window a little bit so you can see the two surveillance up here what you can do is select the points over here and you can allow them to be free tangent weight okay by doing so right now you can actually um, still use the move tool having the move tool being selected or you can press W as a shortcut for move and select this point and click again to select this you can actually bring it longer or shorter okay um, but this is still not what we want because this does not give you the actual realistic look uh, when a boy is coming down when a boy is coming down um, the speed will be slow to fast okay and if we would play back from here the starting is almost almost okay but it could have been much slower to make it look nice so what we can do is we can actually select the first point first then click and drag to select this marquee and drag it longer something like this okay and right now you can see that within the first few frame it drops very slowly and once it reaches the ground, okay, this is actually not accurate. Uh, the, the, the part where it reaches the ground is not nice because it starts to slow down. Okay, it starts to slow down. So, in order to do that, we actually have to edit this point handle. Okay, um, we will need to actually break this tangent. So, we got to press on this. What you can do is by moving a mouse over an icon you can see that the bottom left hand corner of the Maya screen you can see the description of the tools it says break tangents so let's click on this and now we have broken this tangent and what does this do once it's being broken you can select this corner and can use our left mouse click and control it to pull it up like this okay why does it look like this shape because the distance still remember the distance from here which is about roughly according to the value over here maybe 34 and when it goes to frame number 9 it is the value is about 25 so that's like you no know, almost double compared to the one before okay 
just observe just observe the distance increasing and once it once it reaches the bottom okay it's going to be very fast like this and again when the ball is going upwards the speed needs to be fast so let's select this handle left click pull it up like this again and we can exaggerate a little bit for the top when it's once it reaches the top to slow it down even more so we can actually select this handle and pull it further outwards like this okay let me just play back this so now does it look like it is slightly more realistic and why is this so it's because that we can feel there's a force pulling it downward and bouncing up and when it reaches to the top it slows down again to add a little bit more details to this animation whenever a ball from the height from this height drops down and when it bounces back up you lose energy this is physics but you lose energy and how does it lose energy because energy is lost through sound and through impact on hitting the floor so we can try to go to the frame 20 and reduce the height maybe about half or s around there is totally up to you what we which I could I'll choose to make it half the height and let's just take a look okay so it starts to slow down and goes at the lower height if you probably for now I'll just put it slightly higher than 50% because basketball tends to be quite bouncy and what I'm going to try to achieve is that 